that has been our mantra and that has been our philosophy. That's the way we live. That's the way we raise our children. That's the way we treat others, it's sort of our superpower. Hey, happy fam, welcome back. I wanted to take this opportunity to share with you a little bit of history behind Live Happy and what that means and how that came about and what it means to me and what I hope that it um, exudes to you as well. We have a lot of new family members who have come into our family <laughs> over the past several years. And I'd like to really clarify what I mean when I say family. We have a very special relationship with all of our viewers um, and you guys are definitely part of our community and we wanted to make it a little bit more special you are part of our family so a while back um, we put it out to all of you and said you guys what do you want to be called how can we refer to like our beautiful community and somebody came up with family which is spelled f-a-m-m-e-l-l-y which is like donnelly d-o-n-n-e-l-l-y so when we say family our f-a-m-m-e-l-l-y is our whole online community. You know, you sort of happened upon us and we talk about live happy and what does that really mean and why and where does that come from and is it just lip service? Um, live happy is definitely our mantra. It is how we live our life as a family, how we always have, but it didn't really come to our conscience until around 2016. We started YouTube in 2015, started sharing our daily vlogs. We found that so many people, like we were just being ourselves, right? We're just being our life and just filming our life and putting it out there. We've always been positive, happy people, but we kind of thought everybody was like that. So it didn't really cross our mind. Like you don't really know sometimes what your best qualities are until you realize that maybe not everybody has that quality. Like there's certainly qualities that I don't have that I wish I had that I admire in other people. Um, but I think that is a quality that has been sort of instilled in us and part of our philosophy for of life forever. But I didn't really realize it, I don't think, until people started commenting on our videos. Oh my gosh, you guys are so happy and you're so positive. And you know, I grew up in a very happy, healthy, positive, encouraging, supportive family. And it took me a long time to realize that not every family was that way. I think it was when I went off to college and I was like, wow, not everybody like has brothers and sisters that they love and parents who want to come support them. And that, that just didn't even occur to me that that was the thing. So you guys really taught me that concept. I didn't really realize what it was until you started giving me feedback about how we were making you happy. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. And I think that helps us now give it back even more and then talk about it and recognize that it's actually a thing. Then also, you know, when we started YouTube, we had dear friends and that really introduced us and, and tootled, tootled us or our tutelage <laughs> and introduced us to YouTube. Six months after we started YouTube, there was um, a tragically, um, their son passed away and it was, um, an absolute turning point in the lives of my kids and our lives and it was devastating for my friends who were the parents who um, endured and the brothers and the, the two sisters that endured that as well and going through that with them it was life-changing to try to process that and move forward from that and be a good example for the family be a good example for my family be a good example for the millions of people that knew our friend Caleb his mom and I were talking and we said well we have to give people hope we have to process and come to terms with this and we talked about sort of creating a rally cry. And I know that that sounds like not really the right word, a rally cry, but sort of a mantra of like, okay, you know what? Life can change in an instant. And she started um, talking about celebrate life because you never know what, what can happen. And we started talking about living happy, like, cause you never know what could happen, but also it's the best way to live, right? Live happy and choose happy and choosing your attitude. And that's when it really hit me that like, we do do that. We have been doing that. That is something that we can offer to the world and that we can continue to do ourselves. And that's, that's our gift that we can spread. It's sort of our superpower. Of course, sometimes we're sad and that's totally fine. It's human, people are, but to live happy to me, means that you really, it means a lot of things. One, you don't take yourself too seriously. 
I mean, you really can't. Like you're a human being and we're gonna have things that happen to us and you just can't expect your life to be perfect and you can't expect everything to go perfect. You can strive for that, but just know that that anything that happens that would otherwise make you not happy, um, I mean, everything is surmountable. It's it's not insurmountable. Like, and what you do is you just like deal with the situation and say, okay, this is the way it is. How are we going to respond to this? How are we going to react to this and move forward? And if you curl up in a ball in the corner and cry the rest of your life, that's not positive, right? There's always something that you can do that will move you forward and make you happy. We also talk about the difference between an ordeal and an adventure is your attitude. And Mike and I came up with that. Um, I'm sure somebody had said it before us, but we hadn't heard it. But we, at one point, I can't even remember what it is that happened, but we were like, we just sort of something, not devastating, but something like crazy happened. We're like, you know what? Okay, let's just change our attitude. So you can make something an ordeal if something happens that's not ideal, right? You can make it an ordeal and be like, ah, rah, 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 rah. or you could make it an adventure because you know eventually it's probably gonna be a pretty good story. And you know that through life, you know, God promises us um, nothing really other than his love. And you, you sort of know that you're going to be challenged and you're going to be made to suffer and everybody has different um, degrees of suffering, but all you can do is learn from it and have a good attitude about it and move forward from it and not dwell on it. So we really, um, you know, if I'm in the grocery store and something bad happens or someone's rude to me or, or my expectations aren't met with somebody, like I, I, I try not to have many expectations because whatever is going to happen is going to happen and you just roll with it and go with it so it's been a really nice way to live also we decided to turn it into a merchandise brand so you can see i wear my my live happy shirt it has live happy on the back so we have lots of merchandise um that is hopefully to remind you to live happy and to spread the happy message um, because the world is a better place when people are happy and you pray for those people who aren't happy because that is um sad. <laughs> How about that? If that's something that you subscribe to or that you want to subscribe to, that we can help you do that. Through our vlogs and videos, um, we don't really talk so much about that, but hopefully we exude that and hopefully we uh, exemplify that and give everybody who's watching something to smile about. And again, we are not perfect. We're not perfect. I cried today for the first time in a long, long, long time. <laughs> And then I got over it. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm fine. I think I was just really, really stressed out. I had a crazy week last week with Brennan and traveling and everything. And, and you know, you're always wondering, well, am I doing the right thing? Am I, am I, am I delivering the right videos for the audience? Am, should I be doing something else? Uh, should I be doing a podcast? Should I not be doing a podcast? Why is my merchandise not selling? There's all kinds of things that can come through your head. And, um, and I kind of lost it this morning but um, it all worked out just fine, right? And it's going to, it's going to, because I just remembered, right? This is, it'll be a good story someday. And maybe that story is that, um, that the business folds. Maybe that story is we, maybe that story is we find something even better and, and it gets bigger and better. Who knows what that is? I don't know, but I tell you what, I'm here for the adventure and I'm looking forward to it. So anyway, that's the, that's the, the um, background of Live Happy. And what we started to do in our vlogs is we started to ask people, what made you happy today? And that was really like, we started asking our family members at the end of the day, like, what made you happy today? And before we put the kids to bed, what made you happy today? So they would go to bed with happy thoughts and they would be grateful for the things that that they had and, and focus on the good rather than dwelling on the negative or the, or the bad. So we decided to start doing that in our vlogs as well. And I cannot tell you how many people reached out to us and said, hey, I'm a teacher or I'm a, I'm a parent. And I've started to incorporate that into our days. And that is so flattering. And I hope that you guys do that. We even have a Live Happy journal. Um, so people could like write down at the end of their day what made them happy so you can go back and look through that. I encourage that if that is something that um, speaks to you to do that and, and to always just look towards the positive and know that your happiness comes from you and your happiness also comes from God. 
but it's manifested in you and you get to choose your happiness. No one else gets to choose how happy you are. No one else gets to choose your mood ever. That is totally your responsibility and it's your choice. And people can keep putting you down, putting you down. The, the society can, teachers can, parents, sisters, brothers, whoever, whatever. Uh, you can keep getting rejected, but you choose how you respond and you choose your attitude and you choose to be happy. So if you choose to be happy, something is always going to come of it. Something else is always going to be better down the pike if you take the proactivity, the pro, proactive approach in choosing your attitude. So I, that has been that has been our mantra and that has been our philosophy. That's the way we live. That's the way we raise our children. That's the way we treat others. That is absolutely the outlook that we have on life. So if you guys want to hear more or if you have any questions or if you want to share with me how you live happy or if you want to share with others, we want our intention is to build a community um, through our YouTube and through our Instagram and um, our YouTube community and Patreon, which is our fam club. It's to Our, our intention is to build a community of everybody that lifts people up. So we are happy to be the leaders of that, but we know that and hope that we are attracting people who want that, have that, and can and can help others. So we are all lifting each other up at the same time. So I love more than anything, I love it when our uh, family like talks to each other on in the comments and praises each other and gives each other encouragement. I think there's nothing better. All of you who are mamas and dad daddies who are trying to raise children to be happy, the best way to do that is to be a good example for them. So we're hoping to um, share some more about our philosophy and the way that we operate our family um, here in the near future. So put a comment below to tell us about like how you live happy, how you want to live happy, how you can encourage others. Comment below what made you guys happy today and we will see you tomorrow.